Diagnostic tools are critical for first responders. They can influence triage procedures and have a direct impact on patient outlook. One important diagnostic tool is the electrocardiogram, or ECG. ECGs help first responders differentiate between different heart conditions and determine the further treatment that the patient needs. If there is a possible heart attack, having these readings as early and often as possible is important for correct diagnosis. Pre-hospital ECGs often catch problems that later readings do not, and they can determine if there is a STEMI or non-STEMI. A STEMI, which is a full occlusion of the artery, requires activation of the catheterization lab. Studies have shown that activating the catheterization lab due to a pre-hospital ECG can decrease door-to-balloon time by 15 to 20 minutes and significantly lower patient 30-day mortality. Unfortunately, only highly trained paramedics and advanced life support responders, or ALS, are able to administer and interpret this diagnostic test. Basic life support responders, or BLS, usually arrive on the scene first, but have to wait for ALS to administer an ECG, which costs precious time for both the patient and a limited number of paramedics. The main barrier preventing BLS from administering ECGs is the lack of training for ECG lead placements. Even for those trained to apply ECG leads, studies have shown that on average, ALS places electrodes 20 to 25 millimeters away from the correct position on the body, which can lead to increased administration time, inaccurate readings, and fatal consequences for patients. Our device will focus on addressing these problems in order to make pre-hospital ECGs accessible to more people. Emergency medical services need a better way to administer 12 lead ECGs in order to increase the accuracy of ECG interpretation and diagnosis, increase pre-hospital cardiac monitoring, and improve the efficiency of applying ECG lead wires. We spoke to Sydney Haas, a paramedic working in Washington, D.C. about the issue. Do I enjoy administering 12 lead EKGs? Um, I wouldn't say that I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy the capability of having the patient's 12 lead. Um, the process can be kind of cumbersome, and uh, when it's a critical patient, it can be um, sometimes time-consuming to do the 12 lead. What makes administering a 12 lead cumbersome? Um, a lot of times for me personally, it's, uh, it's the, um, the logistics of getting all the cables attached, all the leads attached. Um, the 12 lead cables versus the four lead cables are kept in separate places on the monitor. Um, the electrodes are kept in an even more separate place. Uh, a lot of times they're not preloaded onto the leads. Um, finding anatomical landmarks, exposing the patient's chest, placing them all. You have to look at the back of each one, verify that it's the correct lead for the correct spot. Um, so it can take anywhere from 45 seconds to two and a half minutes to accomplish, depending on what the patient's wearing, what their attitude is, um, what the resources that we have available at the time are. What are some key characteristics that medical responding agencies look for in products? Um, obviously, a lot of them are municipal systems, and so uh, cost comes into effect because they're funded with taxpayer money, and so they're um, sometimes uh, strictly budgeted. Um, durability is gonna be another thing. Um, the Washington DC Fire Department um, responds to hundreds of thousands of calls a year. Most of them are medical responses, so we're using the equipment um, constantly. So if things are um, not durable enough to stand up to that, um, they break down quickly and that can cause uh, issues in the field. Um, another thing is going to be the accuracy. Um, if a test is not reliable enough for us to make sound medical decisions off of, um, then it's not really worth us buying or carrying because we need to know that the tools that we're using are going to be um, as effective as they can get. After many iterations where we focused on adjusting the fit of the outer casing to ensure proper positioning of the precordial leads and positioning on the chest, we came up with the following iterations. Emergency medical services need a better way to administer 12 lead ECGs in order to increase the accuracy of ECG interpretation and diagnosis, increase pre-hospital cardiac monitoring, and improve the efficiency of applying ECG lead wires. After numerous iterations of prototyping and testing, we are proud to present our device, the Vital C by Blue Vitals. 
The Vital C is designed to be an around-the-neck module component for standard ECG lead wires, which will increase first responders' speed and accuracy of lead placement. Here's how it works. A trunk cable splits into six precordial leads which, through our module, are situated just below the patient's clavicle on either side of the body. The leads extruding from the Vital C are contained, coiled, and retractable to avoid clutter and as well as reduce motion artifact when applying. This allows paramedics to place the leads faster since the range of motion of the leads is restricted. The placement will be more accurate as well. The Vital C is made from thermoplastic polyurethane to be flexible but strong, allowing for use on any body type as well as for those with cervical collars or other restrictions. The device is compatible with the current on-market ECG monitors such as the LifePak 15 or Zoll XNR series. In order to increase speed and efficiency, we designed the Vital C Press, a game-changing accessory to the Vital C or any standard ECG leads. Currently, paramedics must manually place individual electrodes on the end of each precordial lead. The Vital C Press streamlines this process by allowing for the placement of up to three electrodes at a time. The three lead heads are loaded into the press, aligning them with the electrodes for mating. Engaging the press will secure the snap connection, attaching the leads to the electrodes. Now your leads are ready to be administered. The Vital C press is made of rugged plastic via injection molding to ensure it can handle the toughest of conditions. The novelty of our device lies in the organization of the leads as well as the quick electrode attachment. Simulation tests in SolidWorks and Fusion 360 will look at the durability of the device. Additionally, we conducted heat coiling tests on Medtronic wires, which acts as a proof of concept for the coiled wires on our device. New Orleans EMS has been instrumental in the development of our device. Unfortunately, they have been heavily impacted due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have decided to use part of our remaining funding in supporting their organization. We are also organizing a drive for cleaning supplies to help the EMS providers in their fight against COVID-19. Please contact Team Blue Vitals if you would like to show your support.